We forgot that God is just. One of the most pernicious movements to sweep the church is the idea that God is a kindly old man who wouldn't hurt a fly and is willing and ready to overlook any and all sin. Along with it came an easy believism and permission to follow your heart. Truth was optional and the Old Testament didn't reflect God anymore. What we forgot in the process was that God doesn't change, ever. We forgot that the sins that made him angry 4,000 years ago make him angry today. We forgot that God is just. One of my favorite quotes from Thomas Jefferson is this one. Quote, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just, that his justice cannot sleep forever. Close quote. Thomas Jefferson and that comment was written in the context of slavery, but it is no less true about every other thing, and America paid a terrible price for enslaving those with a different skin color. Unfortunately, Jefferson was right to worry. The injustice of slavery had been ignored in the founding of America, and the price of that evil was the loss of 700,000 men and women. The rich plantation owners refused to give up their slaves and were willing to throw America to the wolves rather than diminish their profits. And please, spare me the diatribe about how the South was unjustly persecuted by the North. I've seen that threadbare evidence. Such revisionist history is nauseating. Wealthy plantation owners refused to, flee, to free their slaves. They had their chance, and they thought that they could get away with it. They lost, and too many good men died for that greed. The American Civil War was a judgment from God. We allowed it to happen, and we richly deserved the price that we paid to fix the evil that we allowed. But I need to stop here about the Civil War before I start foaming at the mouth, because there is something more important to speak of. We now stand at the precipice of yet another judgment from God. The evils that we have committed are numerous and atrocious. And God uses nations and peoples to judge the sins of those who refuse to repent. The northern tribes of Israel were sent into captivity by the Assyrians. The rest of Israel were taken captive by the Babylonians. Will this be the fate of America? Well, you will notice that the Hittites were completely eradicated from the earth. In fact, they were destroyed so thoroughly that archaeologists thought that they were a myth. And God told Israel to destroy every last bit of what was once Amalek. However, God sometimes uses natural forces to judge people. Sodom and Gomorrah come to mind. Then there's the Minoans. And let's not forget that almost every single dynasty in China fell as a result of a natural disaster. So what will it be for America? Well, in 1 Peter 4, Peter speaks of judgment beginning in the house of God. And that means us. You and me. So before the judgment comes for the unbelievers, it comes first for us if we have sinned. And we have sinned greatly. In fact, I think that we can see the judgment of God in our churches already. And it follows the prescription given to us by Paul in 1 Corinthians 5. Quote, It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, and such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles that one should have his father's wife. And ye are puffed up, and have not rather mourned that he that hath done this deed might be taken away from among you. For I verily, as absent in body, but present in spirit, have judged already as though I were present concerning him that hath done this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when ye are gathered together, and my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, to deliver such an one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Your glorying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump? Close quote. 1 Corinthians 5, verses 1 through 6. Notice what verse 5 says. To deliver such an one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh. I think that we are beginning to see that our churches are being handed over to Satan. If we refuse to obey God, then God will allow Satan to have his way with us. When God judges the rest of America, well, when will he do that? 
The answer is soon. We are already seeing the cracks form in the foundations of our civilization, and it's only a matter of time before those cracks lead to a complete collapse of what we thought was permanent. We thought that energy would be cheap and plentiful forever. We forgot that climate can get cold. We thought that we didn't need God for society to work well. We thought that endless debt would never turn to bite us. We didn't realize that we were repeating all the same mistakes that led to previous disasters. We were expecting different results, and that was insane. We forgot that God is just and that his justice cannot sleep forever.